Sharp Knack Limited, May 2015. We're weathering the Lion Chief Mikado. Now this is a great locomotive, but I really didn't like exactly how it looked in terms of the shininess and the graphite paint that was on the firebox and smoke box. To me, um, it just looked a little bit too silvery and too much like a brand new Lionel train, which it is. Uh, but I wanted to make it give it a little bit more of a weathered workhorse look and this is what I did now I was afraid to get into it because I thought I'd have to get a airbrush but after thinking about it for a few months and buying a few key uh, strategic uh, elements I was able to get this all done for less than 20 bucks uh, also by the way I was able to uh, create a small headlight shield on the uh, for the for the headlight just made out of a pen cap but on to how I did this, um, make a long story short, I just painted, found a good paint, quality paint, to, uh, to go ahead and cover up the smoke box and fire box. And then I used a, a single weathering powder just to give every, take the shine off and to bring out the details and to make it look like it had been through a bunch of smoky uh, work events and uh, been working a lot. So... That said, um, what I did is I used this uh, paint model master grimy black on the sm smoke box and fire box, and that was the first step. I just took the, uh, uh, the paint, it's only less than four bucks, and a small brush, and I just did two thin coats, and I made sure to get out all the brush marks, and you know, just made sure to completely cover all of the silver. And then I took this um, Tavaya uh, Weathering Master Oil Stain Powder and took off the shine. And basically you just sort of scubble it on, you just pretend like you're like rain and you just sort of do vertical strokes down all of the uh, surfaces, including especially the, uh, the, uh, the flat surfaces, and that really brings out the rivets and the details. And then you just use the brush they provide with you, or you can use a, you know, your own little dry a uh, small modeling paintbrush and that's uh, has no paint on it obviously and then you uh, can it just sort of takes take the brush marks and the streaks out and once you do that you know you just sort of it's it's basically like makeup for makeup for trains you apply it like this and then you just take the brush and you get out all the brush marks or the streak marks so it it looks just scubbled and 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 uh, dusty um, it's, it's a pretty easy process uh, I already did this one, so I won't uh, redo this one. But when I get one that's uh, fresh and clean, I'll go ahead and show you how that works for a for a, a new locomotive. But this is what it looked like before, all bright and shiny, and this one looks like it's been working for ten or fifteen years on the rails. Thanks for watching, Sharp Knight Limited. See you next time.